Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the wind is causing havoc all over the place, including in Italy as a Viking cruise ship broke away from its mooring and had to be rescued by tugboats before she ran aground. We also have some sightings of the what we think is going to be the first Royal Caribbean ship to have Starlink and then some good news for a carnival fans. First story is Viking Sea. It did break away from its mooring as a Bora wind event. Now, a Bora wind event is something that's come along with a big gust and a big storm, and it can come on very, very quickly. And it came on pretty darn quickly, and so much so that it broke the ships away from its mooring. Now, if you look at the area that it has to go, it, it's very close to a rock and another dock. On the side that would be facing the ship, is all rock along that area and it you know if the ship would have pulled over into there and and hit into the side or went forward it could have grounded the ship in the, the dock in the port well luckily the crew reacted very very quickly and dropped anchor immediately to keep it from drifting too too far and then there apparently was a one tugboat that was used for towing from a company who saw what was happening and ran over to help stabilize ran over drove over <laughs> and, and helped stabilize the ship and eventually it was joined by four more tugboats that finally kept the ship stable and they pushed it back in with, with the amount of wind that was going you can see how rough the water is from some of the pictures but they lined up along the side and they slowly pushed the ship back and it retied its moorings in it is now stable so yeah it, it was uh Apparently, it just came on really, really quickly, the wind, and it just just didn't done. Sometimes it just doesn't take much uh, for these ships to, to, to break away uh, when they're not expecting it. And all of a sudden, one big powerful hit is all it takes. Well, good news, though. No damage, apparently, was done to the ship. It happened at like 3 a.m. in the morning. All passengers and crew are safe. Nobody had to be evacuated. Passengers remained on board during the whole time. And like I said, because of the quick reaction and the tugboats that immediately went over to help rescue the, the ship and keep it from drifting too close to the shore, uh, this could have been much, much worse. And passengers might have been, hey, your cruise is over because we just ran aground. <laughs> so good news there. Also, some more good news. The Costa Luminosa, soon to be the Carnival Luminosa, has now been entering port for dry dock and is now getting its customization to become a Carnival ship. This ship is supposed to set sail with passengers this November and it's already got the paint job up and uh, it's making changes inside to make it the Carnival cruise ship that we all know and love. If you're a big Carnivals fan, you're going to be able to recognize it. It's not going to stand out at all. Uh, it's going to look like a Carnival ship. However, some of the other ships coming over from Costa uh, later this year and early next year, they're going to keep the, the, the Costa look. They're not going through the revamp and the color scheme, at least not yet. Maybe they're waiting to see how fans react to the Luminosa coming over. And if it's a very positive reaction, maybe then they'll invest in the whole painting unless they have plans in the future to send those ships back to Costa. Who knows what lies in the minds of executives sometimes. And uh, sometimes they surprise us, like taking a cruise ship from one of the companies and bringing it over to your other company. No one was really foreseeing this in the works, especially when they're still building like Mardi Gras class ships. Uh, and now they're still bringing those others over. It, it's kind of strange. More good news. If you're a Royal Caribbean fan and you're wondering when Starlink is going to be attached to your ship. Well, it looks like the very first ship is almost ready or up and running by the time this video comes out. The independence of the seas apparently People have seen when they're doing speed test runs on the internet that Starlink is active. Whether or not Royal Caribbean is charging for that yet or saying that it's on, I'm not sure, but it looks like it's like 
moments away, if not just within a few short days. Independence of the Seas is going to be, it looks like, the first one up and running for Royal Caribbean. Really looking forward. Uh, come on, head it. If you're done there, run over to the Oasis of the Seas because I'm on it next Saturday. So, uh, well, Sunday, I fly out Saturday. Go install it quickly. See if you can get it up and running. I'd love to be able to test the speeds because I know what the normal speeds is with Zoom. Like to see what the speeds are with the brand new system. Well, that's all for today. It's just a quick little video and um, quick update. Good news pretty much all around. Ship breaks out, no damage, no injuries. Everybody's okay. Luminos is coming and Starlink's coming. Pretty good news day. I have to say. I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button until next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.